So after recording the solution videos for section 4.4, some of the problems were renumbered and some were added. And what I refer to as problem number five in this section is now problem number 33. In problem number five of section 4.4, we're given a situation in which we have a pond filled with fish and the annual death rate for this certain species of fish, or excuse me, annual birth rate is 10%, the annual death rate is 5%, and we assume that 7% of the population is lost due to fishing each year. Now we can write a differential equation utilizing all this information, and suppose that if we call our population at time t, uh, t measured in years, then we know that the rate of change of our population will be equal to, well, be 0.1 or 10% of the population increase, well, that'll be the increase from the birth rate. And each year we'll lose 5% or 0.05 of the population uh, due to the death rate. And um, we'll also lose 0 0.07 uh, p due to fishing. Now if we add all of this up, we get 0.1 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.07 will be negative 0 0.2 or 0 0.02 p. So this is the differential equation that we can use uh, now to solve for uh, a function for the population. So we know that this has the general solution, p of t equals c e to the negative 0.02 t. And furthermore, we know that population at time 0 um, or the initial population is 1,000. Initial population is 1,000, so 1,000 is equal to c times e to the 0, which is just 1, so we have 1,000 is equal to c. So the population is equal to 1,000 e to the negative 0 0.02 t. Now, we can also kind of change the situation a little bit by adding some fish each month. So suppose we add uh, one, or excuse me, each year. Uh, so suppose we add 100 fish each year. Now, obviously, the same differential equation is not going to work, but we can modify it a little bit. So dp dt uh, from before we know is negative point zero two t, but then we have this extra 100 fish, uh, excuse me, should be 0 0.02p. Uh, and of course, we're adding 100 fish per year. So we have that constant increase. Now, we can use uh, this differential equation now to solve for p, solve for a new, new function of, for p, of p. And we separate variables, we end up with dp over negative point zero two p plus 100. And on the right hand side, we'll just end up with dt. And now if we integrate both sides, this will give us, um, we'll have negative one over 0 0.02 times the natural log of the absolute value of negative 0 0.02 uh, p plus 100 is equal to t plus c. Right, so now if we uh, go ahead and solve for this, solve for p, Get a natural log of negative 0 0.02p plus 100 is equal to negative 0.02t. 
plus our constant. And now if we take the exponential of both sides, we get negative 0 0.02p plus 100 is equal to c e to the negative 0 0.02t. And finally, we can solve for p. And we'll have p is equal to well, c e to the negative 0.02t minus 100 all over negative 0.02. All right, well, now we need to use our initial condition to solve for um, our initial condition to uh, solve for the constant c. So we know that, uh, do it over here, that the initial population is, well, it's still 1,000, since we didn't add any fish at the beginning. And this will be equal to, we'll have c minus 100 over negative 0 0.0. Two. And if we work all this out, find out that value of c over negative 0 0.02 is equal to, I believe, 400. Now, what this means is here we get our final formula for the population. That's p of t is equal to. Now 400 uh, e to the negative 0 0.02t minus 500. And I'm just looking back here, and this should be um, positive here. And then we have 100 divided by 0 0.02. And that should, right, that should be 5,000. And likewise, 4,000 over here. OK, so here we have our. Uh, final formula for p of t. And part e asks us to see, well, what's the limiting population as t approaches, uh, t approaches infinity? So we see that as t approaches infinity, in other words, the limit as t goes to infinity of p of t, well, the first term is just going to go to 0. But the second term is just a constant, so see that the limiting population of the fish is 5,000. 